Welcome back everybody, my name is Gabrielle Moses and today we're doing something a little bit different because it is the start of a new year. So you know what that means. That means a lot of New Year's resolutions and a lot of them are either working out or eating healthy. So I thought I would help you out and give you a little bit of a booty workout that you could do at home. It's super easy to do, but at the same time, it will literally give you that round peach booty that you want. But I'm also gonna be putting a little bit of a twist on it. I'm gonna be showing you guys some really cute workout outfits as well while we're doing these workouts because I feel like you're more likely to work out if you have a cute outfit and also if you're confident in your outfit and what you're working out in you're more likely to succeed so before I start rambling about something dumb we're just gonna jump right into it so what's really awesome about all these workouts that I am about to show you is that they can all be done at home or honestly on the go if you're in a park you can do it if you're literally absolutely anywhere you can do all of them because they don't require a lot of equipment you can literally just use a a band for all of them or if you want to even get a little bit heavier with weight you can use a kettlebell oops my parents are gonna get mad at me for that but before we get started with that I want to show you guys some cute workout outfits like I promise so this first outfit right here is from Fabletics which I also would really like to thank Fabletics for sponsoring this video okay so first outfit this top is a really cute crop top with this little knot right here it's really form-fitting as you can see so it's awesome for working out in and look at this it also has finger holes if you're a finger hole type of person and for leggings they're pink camo as well i love them for working out in and you guys are about to see me actually working out testing the outfits for you showing you if they are really gym approved so let's jump into the first exercise so the first exercise we are going to do is just banding glute bridges they're super easy you lay on your back like this and make sure you're not arching your back like that you want to keep it as flat as possible because whenever you do arch your back then there's no tension in your glutes and you're not going to be getting as good of a workout so you're just gonna up and by going outwards, you're creating more tension in your glutes, so you're just getting a better workout. So dip, touch, and up, and pull. And then you're gonna repeat this 15 times and do three sets. And if you wanna hold it longer, it's just gonna be harder and harder and work out your glutes a little bit more. So you can either hold this at the top for three seconds, you can do 10 seconds, just as hard as you wanna go. And you can even alternate if you want to do that, or you can just go through them. And honestly, whenever I am working out, I love to have leggings that do not move around because it is annoying whenever your leggings bunch up, or if as soon as you start to sweat, you can see that. And with these Pavletics leggings, you do not have that problem. So after you've done your first 15, take a break, get some water, and then do that two more times. For this next move, it is called a single-legged Romanian deadlift or an RDL. And with this, you can either just use your body weight or if you want to step it up a notch, you can use a dumbbell or in this case, I'm using a kettlebell. And in this, your hip alignment is very important. So a way that I like to kind of like hack it, make sure that my hips are always facing forward in a neutral position is start with my leg facing up and then slowly go back, always keeping my toe facing down because as soon as you let your foot face outward you're gonna fall backwards you're gonna lose your balance and you also will not get that workout in because you won't be activating your glutes or your hamstrings so this is what I'm gonna do your weight's gonna be in the hand where your foot is going back got that and so you're just gonna lean and then slowly put your foot back straighten it make sure that your foot is pointed down and then turn back up but you don't want this leg to be locked out because if it is locked out, you're not getting your full range of motion. So by doing it correctly, you will not only help with your balance, your core by keeping your pelvis facing forward, but you're also gonna be activating those glutes and hamstrings. And if you need something to hold on to to balance, that is perfectly fine too. So you're just gonna go through, straighten that back leg, making sure that your foot is pointing down. Hold it for a second, come back up. 
and it's whenever you're coming back up that you're really using your glutes and hamstrings like that and you're gonna do 10 of these on each leg and you can do either two or three sets because honestly they will wipe you out quick <laughs> And so don't overdo it, because as soon as you drop that weight on your foot, you're not gonna be able to do much more. So let's jump into it. And make sure you switch sides whenever you're done with your other leg, and then just continue doing the other leg. It's honestly just as good as a workout with and without weight. Don't be too hard on yourself if you don't want to use any weight. And going back to what I am wearing, if you guys are interested in Fabletics, that will be linked at the top of the description. And I'm just going to share with you guys just real quick some things that I absolutely love about Fabletics. The leggings and shirts, they come in such a wide range of sizes from extra extra small all the way to 3X. And they have tons of styles. Just wait, I'm going to change this outfit in 3, 2, 1. Whoa, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> but guys, seriously, there's so many different options that Fabletics has, and I love the attention to detail. See this? Look how cute and adorable the sports bra is. Super cute, and it also has really cool print right here as well, but so does the leggings. So it's really cool that you can get those matching sets, because I honestly feel like if you look cute, you feel confident in what you're wearing, you're going to work out better, and you're going to be more likely to go to the gym and work out if you have a cute little set. So let's go on to the next exercise. So the next move that we're gonna be doing is called a banded donkey kick. All you have to do, you wrap your band right around your knees like this, get on all fours, but whenever you do do that, make sure the knee that is staying stationary on the ground is on top of the band or else it's gonna snap up and hit you real hard. So this knee is gonna be the one that's stationary. Then I'm gonna make sure all my weight is on that band so it does not move. And then it's just wrapped around the other leg, okay? So right here, we're just gonna go up, Think about your foot kind of hitting the ceiling and go back down. And we're gonna do 15 on each leg with three sets of that. And again, this is another one where you don't want your hip going out because as soon as your hip goes out, there's no more tension in your glutes or in your hamstrings. So then there's no real point of doing the workout. So make sure your pelvis stays pointing forward because that is where all the tension is being held. And as soon as the tension's gone, there's no point of working it out. So make sure you're facing forward and you're just going up. And then switch legs whenever you are ready to do the other side. If you want to take a break, feel free to do so. And then just continue with that other leg. And if you want to hold it up whenever you reach the top, it will really, really make your glutes feel like they are on fire. So just hold it there, three to 10 seconds, go back down. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's important that your workout clothes are form-fitting or that they fit you and you are comfortable in them. Because while you're working out, you don't wanna have to be worrying about your clothes, especially if you're like working out around other people. I know how it is sometimes you're like, please no one look at me. I know it looks scary. <laughs> like I don't want good doing this. So what's awesome is that actually with Fabletics, you can get two pairs of these leggings for only $24 whenever you join the VIP program, which I know workout clothes can be really, 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 really expensive. I'm sure you know that too so that might help you guys save a little bit of money as well so I would definitely check them out but we're gonna move on but don't forget to do 15 reps and three sets on each leg don't just work out one leg because you don't want one glue bigger than the other and then it's just gonna be uh, it's gonna be a mess <laughs> but let's move on this next one is called a goblet squat this one's really important to have the correct stance because if you don't you could hurt your knees very easily so make sure you are paying very close attention so with this you're gonna stand up and your feet are gonna be a little bit wider than your shoulders like this this. And you can have weight if you want to. I'm going to be using a kettlebell. Okay. And whenever you squat, you're not going to stop at the 90 degree angle. You're going to dip even further. Okay. And whenever you're down here, you're wanting all your weight in your heels. So whenever you go up, you drive through the heels. Let me show you from this angle. Down like this. Make sure your back is completely straight. Drive up. Just like this. And you're going to be doing three sets of 15. So let's go. We 
did the first set. Make sure you do two more. <laughs> you might need some water like I do. <laughs> but again, it's also important to have outfits that fit you because you don't want to have to be worrying about your pants or your shirt getting in the way or bunching up whenever you are working out. And that's again why I really like Fabletics because it fits really, really well. And you also don't have to worry about sweat because you guys, I'm really sweating a lot and you cannot even see it. And I wanted to show you guys one more outfit before we do the last exercise today. And honestly guys, I saved my favorite for last because look at this. There is a foam pocket in the sports bra right there. Do you see that? Are you seeing that? A genius made that right there. And here is the pants as well. They also have pockets on both sides along with really cute mesh and another pocket on this side. Ooh, ah, we're looking cute while working out. Yes, that is my goal in life to look cute and work out at the same time. <laughs> But for real, I love the attention to detail that all these Fabletics clothes have. They're super fun and they're such a good price as well. So if you guys are interested in new workout clothes, I know it is the beginning of a new year. And I know you all are trying to work out right now. It's probably all your guys' New Year's resolutions that and eating healthy. So why don't you help yourself out and go click that link down below. And this last workout exercise is called banded leg lifts. Again, you don't have to use the band, but if you want to add a little bit of oomph to your workout, use the band. Makes it a little bit harder, adds a little bit more tension to your glutes and your hamstrings, makes it a little bit tougher. All you do, lay on your side and then up. And trust me, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> you may think, oh, all you're doing is lifting your leg. But the key here, again, is your hips. You don't want it to be out like this. That is not the right thing. Face forward, hips going forward, just like this, and up. And again, you're gonna be doing 15 reps with three sets. So let's get started. And then you're gonna wanna switch to the other side. And then do three sets of those. And that really gets your side glute right here. It burns like crazy. So you might just wanna do 10 reps on each side and then three sets. It's really up to you. Don't overdo it, because whenever you start overdoing it and you're still doing it, even though you're really tired, that's when you get sloppy and hurt yourself. So please do me a favor, know your own boundaries. <laughs> you don't have to do as many reps that I say you have to. Start out small, work your way up. And especially because this is an at-home workout, you can literally do it when you're watching Netflix or if you're literally watching a TV show and there's ads in the tweet. Do it then. It's super easy to do. And it honestly does not take forever and lots of time to get into shape. You guys can do this. I know you can. I know it might suck at first, but one workout, all it takes. Try to get active three to four times a week. And trust me, you won't regret it. Your body will love it too. And that is how you get yourself into better shape. That and eating healthy. Guys, you know you can do it. And I know it's hard and I know it sucks. And a lot of us don't have any time. If you guys are college students or if you're parents or if you're in high school and you do afternoon sports or if you're on a sports team, I don't know. There's lots of tests too. You also want to have fun with friends. But if you literally just shave out like 30 minutes in your day, watch some Netflix, work out at home, go on a run. You can do anything you want. Get active. <laughs> because your body will love it. If you're trying to get into shape, don't go too hard. Start off small, then get bigger. But I hope you guys did enjoy this at-home glutes workout. It's really easy to do. Add weight if you want to. If you don't want to, don't worry about it. But you know what? It's all up to you. It's all about your mindset and how hard you are willing to work. And also it helps if you do have cute clothes while working out because it makes it a lot more fun. So if you guys are interested in Fabletics, be sure to check them out down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your guys' New Year's resolution is. Comment that down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.